Well, what do we have here? This is a transmission bell housing from a Dodge Cummins truck. I don't know what gen it is. Don't care. A uh, friend of mine had a little oopsie and um, broke a big hole in there. So he found most of the pieces and I am not good at puzzles apparently. But I think I got it figured out. Luckily I had a, a group of scientists over here and they helped me. So uh should be fun, but uh, that's what we're all about here at Bessie Custom Fab. Fun. Especially when it's boat. Oh, what? I'm not doing this today. My day's over. I'm just evaluating. So uh, tomorrow we're going to get started in three, two, one. Hey, don't look at that. I know you want to see more Model A shit. So do I, but I'm paying the bills here this week. Um, modified some boat lift parts for a guy, some aluminum stuff. And what else? What else do we got? Oh yeah, we got a bunch of aluminum mess here. My friend Randy came and helped and swept the floor. Got a stainless job to do, some drawer repairs. But, what we're really looking at is, um, yes, that huge hole. That's not supposed to be there. That's what's supposed to be there. So, we're going to try our best to put those back together. Stick around. Okay, so what I've done here is uh, used a wire wheel. And clean this all up real nice. Get rid of any junk that's on there. You can see this piece. Two pieces. Uh, I've just got them clamped together. I'm going to just tack them. Then they're going to go in there. But first, preheat. So we'll preheat and then we'll tack. So now we're at uh, one piece left to go in. That one's just tacked in. Everything's just tacked, but uh, you can see it fits really well over here and up across the top, and then it's out. That piece is just uh, it's bent from where it from where it was punched out by the throwout bearing or something. So it's it's damaged. But my guy's not super concerned about looks. He just wants it sealed up. So. We're not going to worry too much about that. We are going to put this piece in here, like so. And uh, while it's hot, we're going to weld the shit out of it. So we'll keep going. Okay, so that looks pretty decent. Uh, I'm gonna flip it over and weld the inside while it's still hot. And then we'll do a quick post heat on it just to allow that heat to really dissipate throughout the part instead of uh, cooling down really fast. So stick with me. Let's go into my office. Have you ever been into my office before? Turn the gas off. We're finished with the argon. And um, this is basically done. I've given it a quick grind to um, just make it look not so rustic. But 
Inside is a little tougher because you get the, you know, oil and residue sticks in the pores of the cast. But I've ground that a little bit too, just for some clearance inside there. I'm not sure what, how everything fits inside there. Not my concern, but uh, yeah, we're, we're going to do a little post heat with the torch, but she looks good. And uh, I didn't want to spend a bunch of time making it perfect because he doesn't care if it's perfect. He'd rather have a, you know, decent price and a decent job. If he wanted it perfect, it would cost him more and he's okay with what we're doing here. So that's it for my welding cast aluminum for uh, uh, truck bell housing. So like and subscribe, Bessie Custom Fab, rock and roll.